Welcome back to the Compliance Kitchen. I am looking at a uh, announcement from the SEC. This was uh, October 26. Uh, they're telling us that they obtained an injunction, an asset freeze against uh, Stephen M. Gallagher, who uh, allegedly was committing stock manipulation via Twitter. And uh, of course, stock manipulation is considered a securities fraud. Uh, the Twitter handle that this concerns was at Alex the Large six five five three, and so according to the press release, Mr. Gallagher used his Twitter account to make thousands of tweets, encouraging his uh, numerous followers to buy stocks that he held. He would subsequently sell his position uh, once the price was uh, pumped. And uh, he continued to recommend the stock as a buy, not disclosing to his followers that he he actually sold out of his positions. So uh, Richard Best, the director of the SEC's New York regional office, explained in the press release that the complaint alleges that Gallagher used his followers for his own financial gain, tweeting out false advice to pump up the price of stocks he owned so he could sell for a profit. Um, and that this is a reminder to uh, investors that they should be cautious and wary of taking financial advice from unverified sources, uh, such as this one on Twitter and other social media platforms. So the SEC charged Mr. Gallagher with violating the anti-fraud provisions of the federal securities laws, and the complaint seeks, among other things, a permanent injunction disgorgement, prejudgment interest, civil penalties, and uh, the asset freeze that was granted by the court. Uh, the, the SEC has previously warned investors about trading based on uh, social media chatter and aggressive stock promotions being a red flag. And looking at the prior warnings, this was a post by the SEC from uh, January 30th of this year. Uh, talking about understanding the risks of short-term trading based on social media. So if this is something you guys want to check out closely, I have a link to these, uh, to the prior warning by the SEC and also to the press release on this particular action on compliancekitchen.com. Mm-hmm.